The first spouse was named Camellia. Dear Lord, I can't contain myself any longer. I love you. Will you marry me? The proposal was unexpected. I knew I could, but I wasn't planning on marriage anytime soon. The decision was practical. A small ceremony would appease the people. Not else was needed. Dear Lita, I know you require no sleep, but can you hold my hand while I rest? I'm too scared to sleep. Huh, of course. This changes nothing. I thought, I'm in control. I am unchanged. I am the same. But I was changed. I wasn't the same. I couldn't pretend any longer. Uh, a, a flower, my lord? I'm honored you'd bestow such a gift to a mere follower such as I. Do I need a reason to give something to my dear spouse? Ah. Uh, uh, hmm. <laughs> I didn't know you could make that face. Oh, forgive me. With Camellia, I could let my guard down. I embraced this new life I found myself in. Hmm, my lord? Uh-huh. The stars. They're so pretty tonight. I wanted to make sure you saw them. And this life, I liked. We were almost inseparable, but as time passed, it was getting hard to deny the inevitable. Ah, oh, thank you for tucking me in, my lord. Of course. Do, do you think I'll go someplace nice? I'll make sure of it. And then time was out. A final kiss began the ritual. A final gift, my name. Aw, I can think of three pet names already. And finally, you were on your way. I have a confession. I don't know what lies on the other side. But from that smile I saw, as you ascended away, I want to believe that it's good. And life returned to normalcy.